Oh, it is cold today. All right, guys, happy new year. Coming at you with uh, a little some tools here to make some money for the 2018 uh, year. Um, the way I make a lot of money on uh, certain installs is wall fishes. And you can too. I'm gonna go through some of these uh, tools here to kind of give you an idea of what I use. Um, not all these on a daily basis, but uh, if you're using a wall fish, eventually you're gonna come into a job where you're gonna need it. Um, so here we go, let's get into it. All right, first up on our order list here, um, Flex bit. Uh, you can get by without it, but it certainly helps out. You're getting into a uh, first story and you want to uh, get in the basement in the same exact wall, use a flex bit. Easy. I have a 3 8 It's just, you know, perfect for one coax. Um, or um, you can, I can fit into uh, two Cat5 lines in there. It's pretty easy. Um, glow rods. Self-explanatory. Multiple uses for them. This one comes with the clients. Comes with a hook. I think most of them actually do. Um, and you, you know you glow in the dark so you can see them inside a wall with a, maybe a little bit of a flashlight you can see it and you're good to go. Um, I have an extension for my flex bit so if I'm um, high up you know chest level trying to you know fish down to the uh, below me then I have enough uh, bit to or enough extension to get down there and I can attach it my coax and yank it through because as you can see right here they all have little eyelets so I'm um, we'll going to pull string if I'm going behind TV stuff like that I'll usually run a pull string um, to uh, save myself time in case a customer wants to add an HDMI down the road, etc., etc. It just makes it easier for me. I already did the work once. Don't do it twice. Um, fish tape. Love it. Everybody knows what you need it for. Um, not, a, not applicable in all situations, but it, when she, when, if you need it, you, it, it's there for you. It, it, it helps out so much. Um, you don't have to, but I do use uh, low-voltage plates. Um, just makes it look a little more cleaner, a little, little cleaner installation. Uh, it's... It just that's pretty much the reason why you use them and, and you know if you need to take it off you can cut a little bigger hole etc it's just it's just easy um, now sometimes you can do pretty crappy work and as long as you clean up after yourself the customer doesn't care so that's why I carry a vacuum um, you know you clean up after yourself the customers are happy it just it, sometimes you know I've seen it where customers literally don't care as long as you clean up after yourself and then you get you know you get your great rating or whatever or you get nice review um, pencils marking stuff um, it goes along with the uh, stud finder here. Um, and you need to mark off your studs, so you don't, you know, you don't even try to cut a drywall um, entry point into a stud because then you're gonna be doing patch. Um, drywall knife, um, self-explanatory. You're gonna need this to cut out anything you, near your fishing line, all that good stuff. Um, I do have power tools, the impact drill, and obviously cutout tool. I do not recommend using a cutout tool if you don't know what's behind the wall. You don't want to get into electrical if you're cutting out and you hit electrical then. You know, damage. You might have to. Uh, you have some explaining to do. Drill bits. You're gonna need drill bits. A bunch of uh, you know variety um, for whatever kind of hole you're trying to get in. If you're trying to get five, six, seven, ten coaxes or however many cat five lines or uh, speaker cable doesn't matter. Um, I do use um, my pliers and uh, diagonal cutters when you're cutting stuff. And if you need to get into uh, a hole and you need to grab that little line, you need to grab the uh, the wire you're using to fish through. Um, it just it helps out. Um, level, keep it level with me, just so I can keep the uh, wall plates level. That's pretty much it. That's the only way you're gonna need that as well. Um, hammer, air ducts. If you're trying to fish lines through air ducts, etc., etc., you're gonna need to get into those air ducts. Hammer comes in handy. Light, you're gonna need light because you're gonna be working in the dark sometimes inside the walls because they're not lit. So, light is a plus for sure. Um, some uh, other tools, please, if you don't have it. It's, you can get by without it because you can, you know, you don't need them these on every job. But if you need it and you don't have it, then you wish you had it. So Magnet Pole and Magnet Spot, and the Mag Spot, they're great tools. They've already paid. All these tools have paid for themselves over and over again. But uh, um, you can watch a YouTube video, watch how they do it. You can tie your line straight, your coax or whatever you need to to this, and this basically just comes straight. Yank it on on the outside of the drywall, and it comes right through. It's great. Max spot, if you're in the attic and you need to know exactly where that room is or whatever and you're trying to drill down, you need to know, you don't want to drill through the actual roof itself, that's the tool for you. It's amazing. All right, guys. Happy New Year. Like and subscribe. Thanks.